Austin City Limits Radio, day two of six in Zilker Park for the Austin City Limits Music Festival. You've played the venue, now you've done the radio, you've done the festival, you've oh, yeah. and you're about to tape the television show. So you've you've checked off all the ACL we the, boxes. Yeah, we did the television show. Yeah, we're doing the whole thing. You're doing the TV show this week. Uh, that yeah. show means something to you in a bigger sense. Just oh, yeah, I grew up it. watching it on PBS. All we had was... I didn't have cable growing up, so I watched, I mean, all that, all those, Stevie Ray, Willie, all that classic from uh, from the 80s especially, I remember watching. The first time we did it um, was in 2015, and um, it was like, I couldn't believe we were doing it. We, it was such a Were momentous. there nerves? There was a lot of nerves, and there was a very regrettable moment after the show, but people there are very... Uh, Understanding and, and let it slide, but yeah. Well, was, clearly because they've let you come back. Exactly. I, I basically felt like I felt the weight of doing something so important, and I felt like I I, I felt like I bombed. You know what I mean? I, I thought I was getting sick, and I thought that I did a terrible job, and so I came backstage and I I threw a chair in our green room, and I, I didn't mean to. It made a dent in the wall. <laughs> but I just you know it was one of those things. That it carries such weight doing Austin City Limits. Um, but it, can't, it turned out great because they're all pros, and and um, we, I can't wait to do it again. It's your first shows back from the pandemic. We're here in town at yeah, we ACL rehearsed. Live. Yeah, we rehearsed at the Moody, and we did like six days of rehearsals, and then had our first two shows here. What was that like? That that moment, maybe even just walking to the center mic after the wait. Yeah, the, I mean, of the two years of not of doing shows, yeah, it not, was intense. Yeah. It was weird to um, you know be in a room that crowded we no one had really been doing anything like that uh, but it was you know we had been rehearsing for that that whole week but also like for about three months the year prior we had done a ton of rehearsals getting ready for this record and the tour and promo and everything so to finally do a show was incredible and it was like we were from the first show we really hit the ground running like in terms of knowing what we were doing, having our sounds ready, knowing the songs. Um, so we were this today is our 99th show of the year. And I feel like from even the first show, we were like really together as a band. So had a conversation earlier where there was a piece of the pandemic puzzle I hadn't thought of, which was that on those first shows back, there's not the guests backstage. There's not any kind oh, of yeah. other folks around, which means right after you're done, it's just you guys. Yeah. You can discuss what just happened. Definitely. And this guy was saying that his band gelled in a way that it maybe wouldn't have if they weren't playing those shows where nobody else is around backstage. 100%. And in fact, now that we're back to the other way, I'm kind of like, oh, I miss like just decompressing in a different way. Because you go out, it's an intense thing. You know, every night you're trying to give a, uh, the same show at that same level every night whether it's your first or whether it's your fourth in a row or whatever. Um, the only way to really do it in this environment now is to like, you gotta be able to get along with your band and your touring party, you know, cause everyone has to be on the same page and we're really fortunate that that's what we have. And, you know, probably most proud of that than any show or any record we've made is like just the, the, the team we've built around this band and the songs and, and what it takes to go out and do a show every night and how fragile that can be to, to like, especially now with COVID and tours getting shut down. And it's hard enough with the way touring is, let alone throw this other thing in the mix, so. Are there different moments in different shows that give you that moment where you know that it's, this is what you're supposed to be doing and it was worth doing? Definitely, yeah, I mean. But that changes show to show, those moments? Yeah, there's like certain, we have stretches of songs in a row where these pockets that we, we tend to keep the same every night. And you just find your, you're like rapid fire sometimes. You're f going into this song, they're ripping into this song. And sometimes it's just like so mus there's so much muscle memory. You stop to think about it, you're just like, man, like, even though I just like kind of flubbed that guitar intro, we're like a machine. You know what I mean? I was like, take it for granted sometimes. Like, we're just like, we're really inside of this music, you know? Um, and um, yeah, and but there's still moments every night where 
we surprise each other with something we'll do. Uh, the flow will be different. But, yeah, I mean, in certain things, like the intro we, of Harmonia's Dream has become kind of a set piece, you know, in the way that on the last record cycle, Under the Pressure became like a different sort of live experience, which wasn't like that on the record. You know, something that kind of happened just from playing well, and that's how you shows. know you're progressing, right? And then you're like, "Oh, this right. is a whole thing now," and like, and that's like we have that for a few songs now. And have you played golf in this town? I actually have not played golf in Austin. I went to, um, I did a interview for Golf Digest at a local course when I was living here. Okay. Um, but I didn't play around, but I'd love to. We we've got a pitch and putt that's been there forever. That's just in on Zilker? the other. Not that far. Okay. It's on Barton Springs. So on Barton Springs. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's been here I gotta forever. Go, yeah. And and then that's been a nice um, thing. Me and my production manager Jimmy, he plays too. He's really good. And so we, on days off, we find a course. It's awesome. It's such a great. Plus, you get out and walk. You get to walk like five miles on a day off, and it's and it's worked for Alice Cooper so far. It has exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you're 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 following in. Uh, I would, smart footsteps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The War on Drugs. Play both weekends of the Austin City Limits Music Festival and tape Austin City Limits, the television show, while they're in town. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Of course. All right. We'll be back with more interviews and performances from backstage at the Austin City Limits Music Festival with Austin City Limits Radio.